that Malkin have had that too, which might be more so a Malkin issue. Um, but there's no doubt that Mike Sullivan is just done with this guy. Like they're going to trade him this summer. I just don't see how Kessel's back. Um, I completely agree that um, that Phil is is what you need on the left shot power play. Um, but you know, this is again there, with the problem with the Minnesota Wild is there's never a fit. Like you just like. You know, you look at the, you add Fiala, you add uh, Donato, it's, and then it's like then they think after the fact, all right, where are they going to play? And and so my thing is, and I would love to ask uh, if you know when they make the trade, I can't ask, wait to ask Phil uh, Paul Fenton if they make the trade, I can't wait to ask Paul Fenton. Uh, where's Matt Dumba play on the power play now? Like because like it sometimes I just don't think that stuff thinks. Well, if you're acquiring Phil Kessel, he's the left shot guy on that circle, and he's got to be on the number one power play. So now Dumba's the second power play guy. Like, you know, like where Dumber's great is from that left circle one-timer. So, like, sometimes I just don't think they think like that. And um, that is something that they should definitely think about before just are just going out and, and just acquiring Phil. Um, so that's but, – but to get to his point, I do think that Phil can still play. But I also think that nobody – you know, it's like Pavelski. They really want Pavelski. He's 35. You're probably going to need to give him three years to get him here. Is Joe Pavelski scored 38, 39 goals this year? He's not scoring that in Minnesota. He's just not. And it's, um, you know, it's, uh, that San Jose system is perfect for a guy like Pavelski. Get it to the point, to Burns or Carlson, just throw it on net. He's tipping him in, crashing the net, things like that. It's a perfect system for him. In Minnesota, I just don't know um, that we could, you know, they all want to go get goal scorers, but still the fact that they don't have a playmaker right now is very concerning. And that's something else that they have to figure out this summer is how to, figure out a way to get guys the puck because it's just not happening. So. A couple minutes left in the show, and then Michael's going to set up the conference call with Charlie Coyle. You're all welcome to sit around and uh, help him with that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> thanks, thanks to Tin Shed uh, in Savage for hosting us. Twin shed, t- TinShedMN.com is where you can find their website, all their specials. Tell you they have some new specials coming out next week, uh, and we'll tell you about those next week. Wednesday night, 6.15, May 29th, at Tin Shed in Savage. Uh, we'll see you here. Thanks to everybody who came out. Give me... I'll ahead. just say, uh, you know, just uh, I feel like I can say this because uh, Trampled by Turtles gives us our music to open the, uh, yes. the, uh, the, the podcast uh, before the show and after the show, Victory and Winners. But, uh, but somebody just sent me a text with a, uh, the new Trampled by Turtles beer up in... Uh, uh, it's Bent Paddle up in Duluth. Oh, cool. It is freaking cool-looking can. Like, uh, hold it up. People yeah, can yeah, see. Yeah. So that's it. So get this, uh, get this beer, Trampled by Turtles beer. Awesome. Listen to them. July, I think, 6th in, uh, at Bayfront in Duluth. If you've never seen Trampled up there, that's the place to see them. Good deal. Yep. All right. Uh, do you have a final thought, or should I just ask you to give me a, kind of a quick analysis final of the Stanley Cup final? I'm on very little sleep lately. So this whole week, the last week and a half, I've been binge-watching with, uh, with a couple buddies, uh, Billions. Yeah. Have you seen that show? I have. Holy mackerel, is that great acting. Like Paul Giamatti and Damian Lewis, whole like it is insane how good they are. Um, so yeah, I'm tired. That's your final thought. Yeah, give me give, just give me a quick analysis of the, the Stanley Cup final. Nah. Yeah, no, do it. Oh, okay, um, people here, people drove here and spent money to see you. You can give them something. I think it's just gonna be an awesome series. Two hard teams go to the net. Uh, make they're so structured. It's hard to get. Uh, to penetrate, uh, I mean, you just saw the way San Jose just couldn't get get through them. Uh, St. Louis, and th- same thing with Boston. I mean, Carolina was, I think the balloon popped on Carolina the series before, but Carolina was one of the fastest skating, hardest working teams in the playoffs. Um, and really the entire, uh, entire season uh, they were. And Boston just made them look like a peewee team out there. It was just as bad as you could see them. You could see guys like... Justin Williams lose their cool, which never happens, and things like that. Um, awesome goaltending by both Rask. Rask is playing out of his mind, and Bennington. This is a guy, Jordan Bennington was their fourth string. Remember, Huso is their third string guy. Last year, Bennington was their fourth string goaltender with the Boston Bruins to the point, uh, excuse me, to, with the St. Louis Blues, to the point that he refused to go to the ECHL on assignment uh, when they wanted to get him playing time. So they had to loan him to the Providence Bruins. So that adds some intrigue to this series that all of a sudden he's playing for an organization that he played for essentially last year. So, I mean, that's what it's like. 
we can all say that Doug Armstrong is this brilliant GM, but there's no way he ever thought this. They were desperate. So Jake Allen was terrible this year. They, need, they were desperate, and he took a guy that he had to loan to another organization last year, which is so odd. And now he's playing that team in the Stanley Cup Finals. It's just, there's, it, you know, that's the type of storylines that I love. So, uh, so that'll be pretty, uh, it's just going to be, a, I think it's going to be an awesome series. I, I, think, um, I think both teams uh, have a lot of weapons right now. Um, but Boston is just, they're, they're a pretty good machine. They're, 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 they're legit. I, I just don't see St. Louis winning the series, but, but maybe I'm wrong. Hey, thank, thank you all for coming out. We really do appreciate it. Thank you to our producer, Brandon Morton, who's been with us for a long time. Uh, everybody give Michael a round of applause. We hope to see you next Wednesday. But the world won't forgive